YouTube, what is going down, man? I am back at y'all boys again with another video, man. And look, it is really late. I did not expect to put a video. Also, if the mic quality isn't the best, please excuse me. I broke my microphone, so we're working with the backup. But look, I know that's not important. I know a lot of y'all want to keep up to date with all of the things that's happening with 2K. And all of y'all don't have Twitter. Y'all only be on YouTube like this. So, Running 2K just decided to drop a screenshot of the game. And I'm here for y'all, boys, man. Now, if you a Laker fan, you're going to be excited with this screenshot. Let's go ahead and put this on the screen right now. This is our first real look at Anthony Davis and LeBron. Now, the reason why they dropped this screenshot today, obviously, this is the first time that we can officially see Anthony Davis in a Laker uniform because the trade actually just now has become official. Yes, we all know Anthony Davis was going to be a Laker even before the draft, but as I said in one of my previous videos when I was discussing the covers of 2K, the reason why they didn't put Anthony Davis in LA for the cover is because he couldn't officially be there because we know with NBA trades, especially involving draft picks, it's kind of a slow process. So now today the trade is officially official and these are the screenshots. And now we get to see Anthony Davis in that Laker uniform and now we get to see how he's going to look in NBA 2K20 as y'all know he's a cover boy so y'all already know they got to make him look right and why not make him one of the first screenshots of the game so with all of that being said I know that was a pretty kind of long intro especially for a screenshot so let me give y'all my thoughts on this thing man so with this being our first official NBA 2K20 screenshot we actually get a good look at the characters and we kind of see some of the things that 2K addressed and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I said this in my last video and people kinda didn't agree with me that much. I had some people that were on my side, but also I had a few people on the opposition. I feel like this year, especially compared to years in the past, the jump between 2K19 and 2K20 isn't really that much, bro. Like, and I know this is a annual release game. It's only so much, it's only so much they can honestly do in a year. Yes, I am aware of that fact, but even with that being said, we know in the past, 2K has done a pretty decent job at updating models from year to year. And on this one, honestly, I don't really see too much of a change, man. So, so what I may have to do right now, get on the game a bit and compare these to the old ones. Because honestly, based off of first look, 2K20 don't really look that different, man. Yes, the Anthony Davis face skin looks outstanding, but it looked good last year, man. The LeBron James face skin looks fire. But it looked good last year, man. So I didn't expect them to go down from there. Of course, they're going to just continue to approve upon it. But again, with especially facial-wise, it's not that much of a change. The one major thing that I can see the difference between this year and last year, more sweat. Like Besides that, I really don't see too much of a difference. Not jersey-wise, not accessory-wise, not anything. I really don't see that much of a change. Uh, matter of fact, you know what? Another one, I think the lighting in this picture, based off of this picture, if the lightning in every arena is going to be like this, yo, the lightning in this game looks pretty damn good, but I kind of don't remember the lightning in 2K19 just yet. So again, I got to get on the game and compare it. But as I just said, man, I don't really see too much of a change. I don't see too much of a difference. Like we can't see the body touch because this is from chest up. So it's not too much that we can see. But again, these are our first two screenshots. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is a major change? Or does this look like rinse, wash, and repeat with y'all boys, man? Also, who is the next characters that we want to see released in this thing? I know a lot of y'all. I know a lot of y'all. Go on to see Kawhi in that Clipper uniform for the first time. Go on to see Paul George in that Clipper uniform for the first time. I, myself, keep them dudes far away from me. I don't want to see none of that. I don't want to see him at all, man. Not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. You know, it's Laker Nation over here, man. But I know some of y'all want to see the characters, man. So y'all let me know who should be the next characters to be released. And also, what's something about the screenshots that we don't like? Honestly, I'm kind of really... Based off of this one screenshot, and I don't want to over-examine one screenshot, but the jerseys honestly don't really look that impressive. I really think that honestly, when it comes to 2K, we've reached our graphical peak. The game will not look any better on the current hardware of the game because all of this stuff that I'm seeing, it just looks way too similar to me. And again, I do know this is a annual release and it's really not too much that they can do to these characters, man. But I mean, just look at this, like this kind of looks like if somebody was to put 2K19 on this, I would not be shocked. Like this doesn't really look like too major. This, is, this isn't this is a big jump. So y'all let me know, am I reaching? Do you like the screenshots? I think I've talked enough for y'all boys, man. Make sure that you like, subscribe, 
hit those notifications so you can join the gang gang and dome we out